What's good, YouTube? Oh, let me fix the camera. Y'all seeing a little too much bad, and I don't know if me. That's only for my girl, them. Aha. <laughs> but look, YouTube. We're back for another video. We're here to have a little fun, get a little goofy, get a little jizzy, a little jazzy. You know the deal. You know the vibe. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What's good, my kings and queens? It's your boy, not so fly. I'm a back for another bang. You know the vibe, you know the deal, you know the jizzy, jizzy, jizzy. This intro is trash. Damn, throw it away. <sighs> What's good, my kings and queens? It's your boy, not so fly. We're back for another goofy little you. <laughs> Banger. Now, look. Today, 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 we got the most embarrassing I show speed copycat. White boy M's 11 minutes of fame. Damn, this Patrick. Patrick's cutting this man's career to 11 minutes. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame, my boy. I don't know. I'm hoping for the best, but I seen this guy. I seen this guy on TikTok, bro. Now, now. Let's just see. Let's just see how this guy's gonna go. Let's see how this is gonna go. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let's try and reach 25 likes. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Going viral for copying the biggest streamer in the world, I show speed. Speed gained 10 million subscribers in one year, and during that, he became known for overreacting, juvenile humor, making himself the butt of the joke. And acting so unnatural that still to this day, some people can't tell if he's playing a character. Well, it's definitely a character. It's definitely a character. It's definitely. Actually, I don't even know if it's a character. Because when he met Actual Speed, I'm. When he met KSI, KSI said he's the exact same. For me, I'm the exact same, but I don't really. I don't really switch up much except for my voice. My voice be going. Be going. I have that YouTube voice. And I have my, my, my regular voice, but that's. That's another story. That's another story. My regular was boring as hell. So we got the YouTube not so fly in the building. Gazer, Gazer, Sullivan. <laughs> but look, let me let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. This is let me bring it back. His facial expressions, his reactions, his personal interests. Basically, this young man studied everything about Speed's persona and imitates him for a living. And he is building a career from it. Are you serious, right, Neil? Uh, are you? That's the clip that got this this man famous, bro. Are you serious right now? Really, bro? I mean, shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect your hustle. I mean, you clearly doing good. You doing good. You making you making out the hood, man. My, my, you're not my. I can't even I can't even call you my my nigga. <laughs> you're not a nigga. <laughs> but I can call you my. You ain't even my 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 brother. My nigga. <laughs> my brother in arms. My are you brother? serious, right, Neil uh, are you serious? However, M denies all allegations of him copying. He's a wannabe, so bro. Honest, He's a wannabe. I'm not copy speed. You know what I'm saying? If I picked up on some of his traits, but I used to watch speed a lot. But, like, bro, when people say I go back and watch his streams and study it, bro, I do not do that. His fans believe him because how could he live stream every single day for hours and manage to imitate someone else without slipping up? Well, he's been. Bro, I swear he's been. I think I feel like I'm gonna say the same shit this guy's about to say. I feel like he's been doing this shit for months, bro. But the fact that he's scrolling down now is just practicing for months. For Slowly months. Getting better and better. I'm an, I'm just genius. a few months ago, White Boy M sounded completely different. If you guys DM me the butterfly emoji, I will follow all you guys back on Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this banger video. Can y'all please stop bullying me, dude? Oh my God, bro. Oh hell, hell no, man. Dude. I'm over here trying to stream, bro. I'm trying to stream me. Y'all spamming in my chat with my IP. But it wasn't. <laughs> Are you serious right now, bro? He sounded well mannered. Then he sounded less speed. Actually, I show speed that inspired all of this. It was Aiden Ross. I haven't blown up yet, bro, but I know I will blow up. My inspiration is Aiden Ross, and he told me to speak into existence and manifest my. Uh, I'll say it right here, right now on the tube. 
this might come and bite me back in the future but I actually know I'm gonna say with my full heart bro I will be big on YouTube I will blow up I will blow up bro I'm you guys are hearing it right now I will blow up when you guys see me in a year's time I will be on the top my inspiration is DDG Y'all know, yeah. I mean, as if you guys can't tell, I yeah, but I will surpass him. I'll surpass everybody in the game. I will be the best. I will be the best, or I'll be nothing. Quote by Vegeta, the goat, the guy, the Super Saiyan God. You know the deal. But yeah, for real, I will be the top. Give it a year. Success, bro. I'm gonna blow up. I respect you, though. I respect this also. I respect this also. Motivated and determined to blow up. Why? We still have yet to figure that out. Same. Although I don't like how he did it though. Because for me, I don't want to blow up like he did. Thing is, I want my own fan base. I want to grow my own community, you feel me? I'm not trying to get it like like that, fam. It needs to be a grind. It needs to be a hustle. You need to go through your trials and tribulations. They have That's all I see. White Boy M was not always his persona. He used to go by a different character called Bluffin'. Bluffin was a little closer to an Aiden Ross clone than an Isho Speed clone. What's up? It's your boy Bluffin, and I'm about to show you how to get sturdy like me. I swear to God, Shaw, Siggy, X, I will beat the shit out of you, bro. I'm not playing. After posting these silly videos on Twitter, he managed to get followed by a FaZe Clan member, FaZe Sway, and his whole world flipped upside down. Yeah, but I woke up to a Sway retweet, bro. Listen, I'm in bed, right? I'm slumped as so look, I get up, boom, I check my To be phone. fair, Bluffin wasn't trying to get recognized for no reason. He was trying to get the attention of a popular esports gaming organization called Delirium. At this oh, point, Bluffin was e making a little name for himself in the Fortnite community. His compilations were getting... Man, of course it's Fortnite. Of course it's Fortnite. I see, I'm not even surprised. Of course it's Fortnite, bro. And decent amount of traction on YouTube and TikTok. But growing a solo brand in the gaming community is extremely difficult. A lot of gamers strive to get signed by an esports team and be exposed to a much larger audience virtually overnight. M targeted Delirium because they were looking for new members. Instead of trying to become the best gamer or the most talented esports player, he leaned into his humor and made funny videos hoping to get noticed by the team. Delirium, bro. We have to have a talk. You stupid little bitch. Bro, bro, bro. Well, what is he thinking? What, bro, what? No wonder it don't work, bro. No wonder you're not on the team. I'm assuming you didn't make it from that, off of that. How are you gonna call the people you want to join a little? That's, come on, there's a respect to this thing. A respect, a level of respect, a level of dignity. Even I got that dignity, bro. Even me, not so fly, the king of YouTube. Stop the cap. <laughs> the king. A YouTuber, his kings <clears throat> and queens. <clears throat> Amen. We know there's a certain respect to things, bro. You can't just go out wanting to be somewhere, be accepted by a team, a community. Act goofy as I like this, bro. In, bro. That's all I'm saying. We have to have a talk. You stupid little. How about you just pick me up already? You know, I'm a great addition to the team. So how about you just pick me up and f me? Pick me up and f me, Delirium? This is what the average Aiden Ross viewer thinks they should do to get the attention of people they want to be associated with. Maybe his tweets were getting likes and getting engagement, but Bluffin didn't seem to understand that calling people stupid bitches doesn't typically make them want to bring him exactly. on. Exactly. To no exactly. surprise, he never got signed to the Delirium team. However, Faye, Sway, and Shaw took a liking to his funny antics. Sway even put a clip of Bluffin singing his intro song for a YouTube video. All the comments were praising him. At this point, he had a couple thousand subscribers and a small following, but he was about to disappear for a while. He abandoned the Bluffin character and committed to the White Boy M character. Bluffin was the hyperactive, rude suburban teenager who liked to curse a lot. White Boy M was where he tried to be a little bit more smooth and candid. What's up Twitter man, my name is Bluffin as you guys can see, but today I'm going to be giving you guys a huge surprise halfway through this video and I'm going to be pulling all the shooties with these squirming trunks, are you kidding me? Look at me, look at me. <sighs> Which one is the real him? We don't know. But we do know that all he wanted to do- Bro, this guy's getting exposed on YouTube. He's 
getting exposed like that? See, this is a fear I have, bro. Although you can't expose. <laughs> That's God. That's God. That's a lot to keep. To be known. For the next year straight, White Boy M tried tons of different content. Omegle, interviewing people in his school, vlogs, pranks, but none of these were getting him closer to his dream. This man smash. Oh, he was wild, bro. Wow. Dream of blowing up. He had nothing to lose, so at some point he just decided to copy everything that I show speed does. But White Boy M is a different level of copy. Whoa. We have seen people copy other people's video ideas, video formats. Oh yeah, even TikTok's jokes. weird. Have we huh? really seen anyone copy someone's personality? How did it get this bad? Well, oh. I wish I could tell you. I'm not even gonna rewind it. You guys saw that thumbnail. That thumbnail was the exact same. Exact same shit, bro. There was this no was difference. This was a genius plan from the beginning, but that doesn't seem to be the case. A few months ago, M started live streaming every day on YouTube. He would play some games, go on video chat apps like Omegle, call girls from his high school, or interact with his chat. He wasn't very entertaining, and he struggled to pique the interest of more than like 30 people. During these first few streams, he talked normally, or at least how we think he talks. We got Monkey App winning right now. But on stream number 12, something changed. Live with iShow Speed. He wasn't actually live with Speed. <laughs> Man, that's just another black guy, bro. That's just another black guy, fam. He's just black. Bro, I, I could be Speed. I could be Speed. I, I'm black too. Well, am I Speed now? Are you serious right now? Come on, are you... Nah, let me cut that shit out. Let me, I don't know why I'm... What the hell am I doing, bro? <laughs> what am I doing? Play the video. This was just a clickbait title, but video, it was Emerson's bro. first monetized stream. And he broadcast it to the most viewers he ever had up until that point. Putting iShow Speed in the title allowed him to hit the algorithm and reach a new audience. And it worked. Because two days later, he would go on to reach 5,000 subscribers. But it was in this stream where a few people started pointing out the similarities between the two. How do I sound like Speed? Y'all don't be making sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Up until this point, nobody ever really compared him to Speed, and nobody ever said they sounded the same. Now we have to consider, M is from South Charleston, West Virginia, which is about 200 miles from Cincinnati, where oh, Speed is from, so it is Oh, that does make sense then. If they sound the same, it's because they live near each other. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. We might have been tripping, that does make sense. Why is the video stopping? possible that they could have a similar accent. The 5k stream had tons of new viewers joining and they were commenting speed clone or the white speed. His reaction to reaching 5k subscribers was the exact same way speed reacted to hitting 9 million earlier that same day. 9 million chat. We did it. But then something interesting happened. convinced by a troll account that the real iShow Speed was watching the stream. Whoa. So M spent the next hour straight trying to do everything he could to get in contact with him. He's a fan! I mean, that shit was already, that shit was already known, but, but he's a fan, bro. He's a fan, fan. Oh, no. Nah. Is there any way that you can actually give me the call with Speed right now so I could, like, you know, just talk to him on stream and stuff like that? You know, I'm not on anything weird. I just love Speed so much, and I would just love to talk to him. I appreciate it. Then he was DMing with allegedly Speed's second mysterious Instagram burner account. At the very end, he got in contact with this kid named Joel, who was followed by Speed, and convinced him that he was, in fact, talking to the real iShow Speed. I think this gave Emerson all the justification that he needed, because if he had support from the guy he was imitating, then he could keep it up. And that's exactly what he did. From there on out, every stream just got more and more copy copycat-esque until July 11th when he would go viral for these clips. Yes, well, please. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? 
Really, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? No, I remember this. Right now, I remember I just, this. I, I, I just, I, bitch, I literally just. This, so this, awesome. when I saw this going on my TikTok, my phone, bro, I was shocked, bro. I was shocked, bro. That's when I started too. That's when actual speed clones started popping out everywhere, bro. I was, man, this man, this man started it all right here. This man started it all. Yeah, damn. With a little compilation of M on TikTok that would lead to his subscriber count going up by the thousands. Even Speed reacted to it. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Speed! Are you serious right now? What the hell? From here, the TikTok virality was going crazy. People were just clipping M stream and waiting to roast him. This one got 17 million views. All of this TikTok traffic was bringing people right to M's YouTube. Whoa. No, that's kind of weird, fam. Like, in all seriousness, that's just kind of weird, bro. Bro, even if you go back, like... Even look at, bro, even Speed looks distraught, bro. Look at this, fam. Are you serious? Look at this thing. From here, the TikTok. He's like, he's like, what the fuck? What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious, right? Now? What the hell? <laughs> what? what the hell? <laughs> bro, what? No, for real though, it's kind of weird, bro. It's kind of creepy. But he needed a new viral plan. So he made a diss track on speed. I show speed, you music. He made a diss track. Better when I don't wish trash. Take it three days, I did it like that. Number 10 on the church that's best. The diss track got the attention of Aiden Ross. So he invited him on his stream. Every time you reacted to me, you was cool about it. No, I'm gonna be honest, you are a weirdo, bro. I respect what you're doing. No. No, you're a little weird, bro. Aiden and his friends were making fun of Emerson. But then they also gave him props. Emerson? Hey, yo. I ain't gonna say none, Mr. Emerson. I ain't gonna say none. Listen, I think you're smart as. I actually like respect. Like, we're just talking about you're actually like five. smart, bro. Giving him a cosign was he just broke he character. Keep pursuing his behavior. Then Kai Sanat, the number one most subscribed Twitch streamer in the world, invited M on stream and tried to talk to him seriously. He tried to guide him down the right path and convince him to stop copying speed. It's, whatever you're doing is working. You're getting attention. Hey, lie, you're getting attention. It's working. But it's not gonna be for a long time, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Then Speed reacted to the diss track. I don't get it though, I don't get it, bro. It. Speed acting extremely normal and almost out of character speaks volumes about how he felt. He just keeps saying, insane. I don't know. Saying he doesn't get it or understand why M is doing this. It's kind of weird, bro. Like, I actually take it in. It's kind of like. I might get this guy say he do anything for fame. Like, on a real note, this is kind of obsessive type shit, but like he knows everything. Everything about speed, bro. My fault if I'm getting like, I'm tired, bro. I just came back from work. I recorded a few videos today. So don't even mind me if I'm getting a little tired, bro. Yeah. We'll I think he genuinely me. didn't know if then he I'm should just... feel disrespected, if it's just a joke, or if he should even be giving this any attention. Oh, bro. The exposure from Speed, Aiden, and Kai launched White Boy. The big three. The big three of this current generation. Speed, Aiden, Kai. Used to be KSI. I mean, KSI is still like, like a level above them. I'll say like, used to be like Flight Reacts with little June antics. And like curry things. I'd say DDG was a good one. DDG used to run YouTube, bro. I'm telling you. I remember those days. Pani, I made DDG. I remember those days. Kennedy. Mm, you were in there with Corey too. Mm, bro, those are the days. You just chilling out. You doing good. You made your you made your but you have a good gal right there. You and Haley. I respect that. But yeah, DDG. Um, flight, and even like, what was that one person? I remember watching ZS and Belu. I messed with those two. 
those ones yeah, were from good. 25k those to 50k good. to 75k subscribers in a matter of days. His slogan, bro, are you serious right now, bro? Became his catchphrase. He even made merch with it. Since then, ever. Bro, I can't disrespect this man though. He's hustling. He's making money out of you guys. He's making money. Like, I mean, I wouldn't buy it, but I'm not saying don't go buy his shit. If you want to buy it, go buy it. He's making money. It's working. He's a businessman. I respect. He's keeping character. He's making. He's making his check. He's making his check. And by the end of the day, he's getting his money. I, I'm gonna take a different path, brother. My path might not work. It might work. I know it will work. Personally, I believe it will work. But the world has everything decided. You can't control fate. You can't control who's gonna pop. Who's gonna be the next? Hip hop star was gonna be the next sign, top scientist, next man on the moon. You can't predict none of that. Fact. So I don't know. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my own hustle. I see what the Lord has planned out for a man like me. Let's see. Person has worked on his speed accent, and it is near perfect. M is full time impersonating speed. He will copy the same exact thing speed does on stream. <laughs> Yo. You look goofy as hell, bro. No, how you you watch his speed do the challenge? <laughs> Why are you doing the challenge? You're goofy as hell, my brother. You're being real goofy right now. Yo, Every you look real goofy. Go viral on TikTok. I think we can all agree that Emerson is just a young kid trying to get attention for the sake of getting attention. He wants to be popular the same way that any of us wanted to be popular in school, but he doesn't want to put in the years of work. Shit, I'm goofy too, bro. I can't be. I can't even be this you like that. I can't be dissing you like that too, though. I'm not this type of goofy, but I'm goofy. I'm, I'm, you can find my YouTube, go down, yes, you'll find it. You'll find it somewhere. You can make a whole exposed, not so fly. It's somewhere down there you could probably check. I used to do, you could probably, my old, my old G's know back in like 2016, I used to record Roblox, Minecraft, Clash of Clans. Bro, I was a, man, <laughs> my face review, man, I deleted a face review. I was too... Oh my god, I can't go back to that, bro. I can't go back. If you guys want me to react to my old videos, these are like six, seven years ago. I was like, Leo, young, not so fly. I wasn't even not so fly. I was like, I went by a few names. I'm not gonna say them, but I went by a few that names. That it takes to get there. He doesn't realize how embarrassing this is and it's how he will forever be known as the I Show Speed copycat. So then why is it still working? I think I've come to the realization that copying others might be the best way to build a following quickly in the modern social media era. Half of his viewers- I'm gonna make people copy me. Copy me. Yes, sir. They don't like him, but they continue yes, to give sir. him attention. The other half think it's entertaining how accurate his imitations are. This has been happening in music, film, and all other forms of entertainment. Just copy something that's popular, change it up a tiny bit, and ride the wave. This strategy is a good way to get attention to cause controversy, to grow rapidly, but it almost always comes crashing down. If you want to build a career, earn a following of people who genuinely respect what you create, it takes years of hard work and dedication. And if you don't... This is why I love you guys. This is why I love you guys. We've built up over time. You guys have been through my struggles in my high school days. You want to grind for that? Then maybe this career is not for you. Exactly. Exactly. I just want to say I love you guys. I love you guys so much. The support you guys show me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my promotions, my TikTok. I love your comments. But even here on YouTube, I love your comments, bro. Especially here on YouTube. You guys just make me smile, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I be opening up my phone, I be seeing you guys gassing me up a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be seeing I'll be smiling, bro. In all honesty, I do love you guys. But everybody, every YouTuber says it, but no, for real. I love all the thousand, you guys. All the thousand. Oh, I know you guys by count to 1,869. Check me. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go sleep. I got a test. I gotta go. Oh, shit. I need to study. All right. Time to go study. Never mind, I'm not sleeping. Enjoy your days. Enjoy your nights. Sleep tight.
I love you guys. Mwah.